Hey, yeah, I bought a little TSA lock from AliExpress. So it's a three wheel combination lock. It's already been set to a combination that I don't know. And when I put in the right combination, the shackle will open up. So I can turn it and unlock my bag or whatever. But it's also got this TSA 007 lock. And when that's turned, this ring here retracts. And so the other side of the shackle can turn and then it can be locked up. So this is so the airport officials can unlock this lock without destroying the lock and without ever knowing your combination. Okay, so the first thing to decode this, it's only a three wheel lock, but it's a little bit tricky. I'll just put this on for tension. Okay, when I tension the lock, I get this wheel here starting to bind. It's quite hard to turn. This one is a little bit easier to turn and this one's freer to turn. But it doesn't matter, even if I have quite strong tension on this shackle, pulling quite hard, I'm not really getting um, good feedback. It's tough to turn this wheel, but it just goes tough, 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 and it doesn't really um, lurch into any true gate. I don't feel anything give on the shackle. And the same with the other wheels. What I do instead is Let's say if I start at zero, there's some triangles there that are meant to line up the numbers here. If I start at zero, and I'll see the next wheel, see how tough it is to turn. It's quite tough to turn on zero. If I put it to one, it's um, quite tough to turn. A um, little bit looser over here, but in zero, it over here is really tight. Okay, so zero on zero, this wheel is really tight to turn, but on one, it's a little bit looser. Two, still loose. Three, still loose. Four, still loose. Five, still loose. Six, and when I say loose, this is with t shackle tension. Okay, so, oh, mm. um. Still loose, I think, on six, seven, eight, um, hmm, mine's a bit tight. Zero is very tight. I'm liking zero, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it on zero for the first wheel, because it's making the next wheel bind the most when I have shackle tension. So now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to start on a number. Let's choose zero. See how easy it is to turn this wheel. It's that easy. One. Oh, and hello. We got lucky. Uh, it opened already. But I was going to go to one and see how, and see that's really tough to turn now. So I would go through and I'd set it on one and then the third wheel I'd just go through the combinations until it would open. So it doesn't take that long to open. It's only a three wheel combination. But noticed I noticed that I had to use that indirect method to decode it. I couldn't just pull and use pull picking directly to see if I could feel any clicks or shackle movements. I had to use this indirect method of turning this wheel number by number to see how it would indirectly affect the next wheel. Okay, I'm going to lock this back up again. The next thing to do is to try and pick this. Now, it is quite an easy pick. It says TSA 007. And what I've done in my previous videos is I've got a bobby pin or hair clip. I just took off the plastic end and I bent it with a few kinks. I did this on the thin side so that it's quite thin on this side, which is harder to bend, but I end up getting a stronger pick. The up and downs aren't as tight as a sparrow's worm or anything like that, and it goes up and down quite a lot, but that's actually, it can be actually advantage because what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and put this in and rock and rake as well as use it to turn at the same time. And what that will do is hopefully lower this ring. Okay, so I'm putting this in. 
Okay, trying to turn as well as, yep, there it goes, turn, and did you see that ring? You wouldn't be able to see that ring lower as I was doing it, but this is open, and if I manage to do the same thing, I have to pick it close. Okay, here we go, and you can see that ring. See how it goes up. And if I pick it again by rocking and turning, see it's going down. Okay, so that's how it works. Thanks.